Bungie decided to give the Warlock, Hunter, and Titan a new strand aspect. Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at the new strand aspect on the Warlock, and it's called the Wanderer. Tangles that throw attach to targets and detonate into a suspending burst. Threadling final blows create a tangle. You would get your tangle, yeet them at a target, it sticks to that target, and it explodes and suspends them. So it's basically like a sticky grenade. So for this build, we're going to be relying on your tangles to suspend as much targets as possible, and also using your your shackle grenades. So this is basically a suspending build on your warlock. And here's how you can be able to do it. But first, click on that subscribe button. If you haven't been subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Just click on that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to try out the build for yourself, the dim link will also be in the link of the description. And as always, let's get right into it. Of course, we already explained what the new strand aspect does. Now let's talk about the second strand aspect. The second one is Mind Spun Invocation. So it basically gives all of your strand grenades enhanced functionality. So I'm using the Shackle Grenade, and here's what it does. When you consume your Shackle Grenade, it activates Weaver's Trance. Final Blows while Weaver's Trance is active creates a suspending detonation. So every time when you get a kill with Weaver's Trance, it suspends nearby targets around that dead enemy. So you're mostly going to be consuming your Shackle Grenade instead of throwing them. And if you want to spawn in a Tangle even more, you would need to have final blows with Threadlings to create a Tangle. And in order for you to do that, you would need to have this Strand aspect called Thread of Rebirth. Thread weapon final blows have a chance to create a Threadling. And of course, for every Strand build, the next Strand Fragment you're going to need is Thread of Generation. Dealing damage generates grenade energy, and it would give you minus 10 discipline. And same goes for this Strand aspect. You're going to be needing to use this one called Thread of Continuity, because Spending, Unravel, and Server, we're going to use all of those in this build apply to targets have increased duration and of course we're going to be increasing the duration of all of those buffs so by having this strand fragment called threat of propagation power melee final blows grants your strand weapons unraveling rounds in this build you're going to be able to have two strand weapons which gives you unraveling rounds and might as well we're talking about the weapons let's head to the kinetic weapon so for the kinetic weapon you're going to use this exotic strand trace rifle called the navigator you can be able to get this trace rifle in the ghost of the deep dungeon and here's what Bungie doesn't tell you about this trace rifle in the game it doesn't really tell you what it does exactly so for example did you know that when you deal sustained damage to a target for a certain amount of time you gain woven mail for 10 seconds and how does it proc? It's because that dealing sustained damage serves the target. So whenever you server a target with the trace rifle, it grants woven mail to you. And also you can grant woven mail to your teammates as well. All you would have to do, fire the weapon at an ally for a couple of seconds and they'll be granted woven mail as well. And for the second strand weapon, you're going to be using a strand machine gun called the circular logic. I chose to put target lock because in the mid tier to the end game content of Destiny 2, there's going to be tougher enemies with tons of health. So by having target lock increases the damage output for the circular logic. So the perks you would go for for the circular logic is feeding frenzy and target lock. And for the energy weapon, you can use any weapon you would like. And for me, I was using an arc auto rifle called the Sweet Sorrow that comes with triple tap and vorpal. I chose to put an auto rifle because in this season, you can get anti barrier rounds on your auto rifles. And also you can get overload trace rifles this season. So I have a trace rifle and an auto rifle. But again, the energy weapon, you can choose any other weapon you would like to use. Now starting with the seasonal mods. And of course, I already discussed anti-barrier auto rifle and overload trace rifle. So the next mods you're going to be using for the authorized mods are strand and authorized melee. Here's what the authorized mods does. Starting with the strand, it significantly discounts the energy cost of your strand weapons. And secondly, authorized mods melee. It significantly discounts the energy cost of your melees on your armor. Now starting with the mods that will benefit from this build. The first one is called Improved Unraveling. Increases the amount of damage dealt by unraveling a target. And of course, you're going to get unraveling rounds on your Strand Trace Rifle, which is the Navigator, and the Circular Logic, which is your Strand LMG. The next seasonal artifact mod is Strand Soldier. Your Strand weapons gain unraveling rounds whenever you gain Woven Mail with your Strand subclass equipped. And that's why I put the Navigator Exotic, which gives you a Woven Mail just by dealing damage 
damage to enemies for a periodic time. Next, let's head to the armor, starting with the helmet. Of course, you're going to be using Harmonic Siphon. Rapid Strand Weapon Final Blows creates an orb of power, and those weapons you're using are the Navigator and the Circular Logic. And the second armor mod you're going to be using is Special Ammo Finder. Increases the drop chance of special ammo on kill. In this build, you're mostly going to be using the Navigator to give you woven mail and also suspend targets. The third mod slot you're going to be using for your helmet is Hands On. Gain bonus super energy on melee kills. I stream on Twitch every single day from Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. PST. And if you want to join in on the stream, be sure to click in the link of the description. And I also do Destiny 2 helps if you're interested as well. Next is the Gauntlets. The first mod, of course, is Impact Induction. Causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. And by using the circular logic, the weapon reload speed is atrocious. So by using this mod called Strand Loader, it increases the reload speed of your strand weapons. And if you want to get more orbs of power, you should use Heavy Handed. Your power melee final blow creates an orb of power. You can't really use your shackle grenade because it doesn't really kill anything. All it does is suspends. But for this build, you're going to be consuming it. So it would be best to use Heavy Handed. For the chest, you're going to be using Resist mods. So the first one would be Concussive Dampener. It reduces incoming area of effect of damage from combatants. And the other two mods are going to be Void Resist and Arc Resist. And here's how you can be able to spawn threadlings from your tangle. And this exotic armor piece is called Swarmers. It is on your leg armor. Every time you would destroy a tangle, it would spawn two threadlings. Your threadlings also unravel targets that they damage. So for Strand, there's no healing benefits for this build. So I would recommend you would use Recuperation. Replenish his health each time you pick up an orb of power. If you want to have the most ability cooldowns, you will need to use Absolution. Reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power. And last but not least, Innervation. Reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. Lastly is the Warlock Bond. The first one is Reaper. After using your Rift, your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power. Now let's head to the second mod slot for the Warlock Bond. This is going to be really broken for this build because you're mostly relying on special ammo. Ammo. So by having this, it's called Special Finisher. Finishers generate special ammo for the whole team, but also consumes three stacks of armor chart. That's not going to be a problem because you're going to be able to get orbs of power by melee kills and by getting rapid kills with your strand weapons and also activating your rift, which gives you an orb of power when you get your next kill. And the last armor mod is Bomber. Reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. So whenever you activate your class ability, in which case it's your rift, it would decrease the cooldown for your grenade and also gives you an orb of power, which decreases the cooldown for all of your abilities and even more for your grenade. So here is the most efficient way to use this build. First, you need to proc Weaver's Trance. So you gotta consume your shackle grenade. Once doing that, use the strand trace rifle called the navigator to suspend targets whenever you kill an ad. And also by dealing sustained damage, you inflict server to the target. Once you inflict server to the target, it grants woven mail to you. But if you're with teammates, you can also aim it at your teammate to grant woven mail for him and for yourself. Either way works. And you can also use your strand machine gun when having unraveling rounds. And I also have a discord for people that are looking for some people to play with for destiny 2 for raids dungeons etc if you guys would like to join the discord it would be in the link of the description did you know that there's a new starfire 2.0 build and if you want to learn more about that build click on the screen right now and when i say that it's broken it is really broken if you'd enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you made it this far into the video be sure to put propagation constipation in the comment section thanks for watching the whole video I will greatly appreciate it and I'll see you beautiful faces in the next video. Take care everyone.